Good afternoon and welcome to Angel's Haven. Uh, I hope everyone's having a wonderful August, which is just about to close. It's been summer here in California. Fire season, of course, and we're all keeping everyone in our, as they say, thoughts and prayers who are caught in the fires. Uh, the nearest fire is about maybe 65 miles uh, north and west of us, so we're safe. It's been smoky here. I'm coming to you today to show you a little rearranging I've been doing. My friend Louie came over and rearranged and helped and cleaned. I didn't do anything. I just walked around. So I'm going to try to turn this around and show you what we've done. And there you go. So anyone that's seen my house from the very, begin very beginning, very beginning, very beginning, remembers that originally my loft was a writing loft. It had my desk and it had a rocking chair and my bookcase. Um, earlier this year, I had the bed, uh, platform bed torn out from this location and had a sitting room made. And I'd been uh, working up there in that spot right there. And it just was too cramped for work. So we rearranged the sitting room, put the couch over there, as you can see, and brought my desk down. Desk down, say that ten times fast. Uh, it uh, isn't perfect. Probably if I struck the cedar chest and maybe the bookshelf, it would be perfect. But this is what I have for now. I might move the bookshelf upstairs where it used to be, so I'll live with this for a little while. Um, I really like the desk there. That much I can say. I think it will be much easier to work there. I think, I think if I brought the bookshelf up, uh, originally the bookshelf was under that railing facing inward, and with the... Uh, desk downstairs now it could be there again so that's something i'll live with this arrangement for a little while and see uh, i think i would like the desk better if it were a little bit further away from the couch the clumsiness of the current arrangement might bother me after a while uh, i'm going to see if i can get upstairs I, one benefit of this is that the place that I'm now sleeping really is a bedroom. <laughs> and not having the desk up here really makes this area uh, lighter and more comfortable. The printer is wireless, so it can be upstairs. I can print from anywhere. And this is very comfortable now. I will say, since I moved upstairs to sleep, I have slept better. Um, maybe because I'm in a real bed. Uh, maybe because there's... It's the same ventilation. The windows are the exact same arrangement as downstairs. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I can see further. I don't know. But it's very comfortable, and I like it. So there you have it. My next project is going to be to get rid of the world's largest pillow collection, strike the futon, and get a folding Japanese mattress. And then people that are coming to visit could actually maybe have a place to put their suitcase. Maybe I can put, you know, a little tiny dresser up there. That cabinet that's on top of the washer dryer cabinet was intended to go up there so maybe I could put a smaller version of that and then when they went to sleep they could unfold the Japanese mattress so that's a project for another day also that little three drawer cabinet I would like to hang it on the bathroom wall I'm not sure it will fit but that's something that I'd like to do. So that's 
a project for another day. But anyway, that's what the place is looking like now. Tiny changes make a big difference. So thanks for spending a minute of... <laughs> there you are. Thanks for spending a minute of my tiny life with me. And I'll see you next time.